Hey viewers, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to write a logic which reverse the individual words of a sentence. Suppose if I pass this sentence as an input, my program should return this sentence as an output. So let's start coding without any delay. So let me copy the program template here. So the first two lines specifies the required header files and this is a namespace statement and uh, this is a sample main function and uh, inside the main function i have declared a three string variables first one is used to store the input sentence and the second one is to store the individual words i mean it it stores the uh, intermediate values and the third one is used to hold the final output let's start writing the core logic first i'm going to assign our input string to str1 variable so let me copy and paste it here now i want to split the string based upon a delimiter for that i am going to use string stream class and get line method let let me write the logic string stream this is so str1 here I am converting my string object to stream object. So in the next line, I am going to use getLine method with while loop to split the sentence into words based upon delimiter and iterate through that words. So while of getLine string stream object str2 and our delimiter. So getLine function accepts three parameters. First one is of type IO stream, and uh, second one is a string type, and third one is our delimiter. GetLine actually extracts the characters from the string stream object until it meets the delimiter. Once it meets the delimiter, it stops reading and uh, stores the string whatever is read into string variable but we need to read all the words available in the sentence so to continue this reading i used while loop here and uh, program exit from the while loop when the get line reaches end of the line, end of the sentence let me print the str2 variable to verify whether our program is working as expected or not uh, C out str2 colon str2 and ln. So let me save and run this program. First, control s and run code. So the string is the string is splitted properly, and we are able to retrieve all the words available in this sentence. Now our job is simple. We just need to reverse the characters available in the uh, individual words. There are different methods available to reverse a string. First, we'll see how to use string constructor to reverse a string. For that, str3 equal to so string of str2 dot r begin comma str2 dot r end and semicolon so this r begin and r end are quite opposite to begin and end methods this r begin points the last character of the string and r end points the first character of the string let me print the str3 value here c out of str3 Yeah, three and then control is and run code. So in str3, we got the uh, reverse of str2 values. See here, str2 has a ha two and str3 is having ot. But we need the output in the form of a sentence, correct? So to achieve that, I'm going to append all these uh, individual words. 
to make a sentence. So let me comment this line here. And plus equal to. And we need to add a space in between the words, correct? For that, I'm going to append a space after each word. Yes. So control S and let me run this code. Okay, I need to print the str3 value and we'll print after the while loop. See out. STR3, STR3 and, and controllers and run code. Finally, uh, we got the output in the form of a sentence and the characters, characters of each individual word of this sentence is reversed. Now let's see the other methods too. So let me mark it as the first method. First method. Using string constructor. String constructor. Now the second method. using reverse method. Reverse is a predefined method available in algorithm header file. So we just need to call this reverse method uh, using two parameters. First one is starting point of the string and the second one is end point of the string. So reverse of, reverse of str2 dot begin this is the starting point and str2 dot end this is the end point of the string now str3 equal to str2 plus space control s and uh, let me run this code We got the output two times. Let me check what is happening here. Okay, so we need to come into this line. Control S and uh, run code. We should get the same output. Yeah, we got the same output as before. So all the individual words of the sentence are reversed. Let's see the third method. So the third method I'm going to use for loop and the str length method. So um, third method using for loop for int i equal to str2 dot length minus one colon i greater than or equal to zero i minus minus str3 is equal to str2 draw i now we need to append the space after each word right so str3 plus equal to space so now let me save this. So before saving, so let me comment these two lines here. So let me save it and let me run the code. Run. We should get the same result. Yeah. So uh, these are the different methods available in C++ to reverse the characters of each individual word of a sentence. Uh, let me write the same program in Python. So in Python, we can achieve this result with a single line of code. Let me show you how to uh, implement that logic. So I'm going to create a Python file here itself. 
new file some test dot python test dot py so py is created let me copy the input statement so let me copy this input statement and assign it to your python variable is equal to now i am going to use list comprehension concept along with the split method to get the result so let me show you how to write that for i in s comma split let me print the reverse of i i colon colon hyphen 1 comma and equal to we are appending space here okay so let me save this and run the code we got the same result. That's why we say writing the code with Python is easy and simple. So that's all with this video. If you like this video, please subscribe and support my channel. Thank you.